these as an early Valentine's gift. I do love a box of chocolates. Do any of you ever break the chocolates apart looking for your favorites and then leave your not so favorites in the box? Like those with the pink fluff in the middle. I mean, what is up with that stuff? It tastes like medicine to me, but the coconut, oh my goodness, I could eat those all day. And the caramel, they are my absolute favorite. Aren't you thankful that with Jesus, there are no favorites? Jesus loves everyone. Every single piece in the box, or should I say person in the world. And that's what we're talking about this week. Not the chocolates, but the people that Jesus loves. Like that woman at the well. Well, Jesus loved her. And Zacchaeus, after all the wrong he had done, Jesus still loved him. Oh, and the woman that no one else loved. You know, the one who was about to be stoned. Well, Jesus loved her too. Can you imagine how that woman felt when Jesus came to her rescue? And then there's Peter, good old Peter. Well, Jesus never stopped loving him, even after Peter denied him three times. What's wonderful about all the love Jesus showed these people is that he has the same kind of love for you and me in every preschooler that we get to teach each Sunday. We want our preschoolers to grow up knowing that Jesus loves us all, no matter what, and he will never stop loving us. Jesus loves everyone is the sweetest news we will ever share with our preschoolers. And since sweets are a huge part of this month with all the heart-shaped cookies and candy hearts, we decided the perfect theme for this month would be sweet shop, because what preschooler doesn't love a sweet shop? Well, when you think about it, what grown-up doesn't love a sweet shop? So get your sweet tooth and your heart ready for a super sweet month filled with the good news that Jesus loves everyone. It's going to be one huge sugar overload, not because of the candy, but because Jesus' love is that big and that sweet.